Hey, it's Bitburner here, giving away more of my secrets. So here's one of my secrets. Uh, I have a pretty huge main ROM collection, and a lot of my samples um, in my music come from these main ROMs. And so uh, I thought I'd show you guys how I extract those samples from those ROMs. So you guys can do it too, and make, make some stuff like I do. So uh, first off, you guys are gonna wanna get M1. Um, uh, along well along with some main ROMs I figure if you if you've uh, if you're watching this video you've probably already got MAME uh, so uh, you want to get some main ROMs from your favorite games you can get these at ROM world and things like that I'll put some links in the description if you if, if you're uh, doing that you don't actually need uh, MAME you just need ROMs um, then you need this program M1 and I'll put the link to the homepage in the description and you'll want to get whatever version uh, Windows Linux or Mac I'm gonna be on Windows so I would have gotten this version now I've already done it all it's just a zip file you put it in a folder uh, and with a ROMs folder and you um, uh, you pretty much go from there but that would be a command line only there's actually a little front end and this is kind of the trick I use because you can do so much more with this and it's all automated um, but there's this, it's kind of weird because it's, it's the, the, the page doesn't translate well, but I'll put a link into the, the description. Uh, there's a program called Bridge M1, which um, consists of um, uh, a couple things. The, there's a zip file on it um, and an EXE uh, and a DLL and an XML file. So what, what this is, is the, the M1 DLL and the, um, and the EXE, uh, will also be dropped in the same folder as M1 uh, with the ROMs folder. And for me, I just put it in my main folder because that's where my ROMs folder is. And it's like, I don't know, 16 gigs, so I don't feel like copying it anywhere else. Uh, the, the, the M1 XML, this is the list of all the games that it actually um, uh, can read. And it's a community um, effort and... Taphoid is the place to get it on um, if you just follow these English links down here. It's probably the best way to get everything. Um, you can get the newest XML file. And so you put that in the folder too. And I'll show you an example of this right here. Here's my, uh, oh, this was just an INI file also, which um, I believe shows where things are like uh, your f uh, folder and stuff. Yeah paths and that's default so if it was different you could set that up but here is bridge uh, m1 here's my m1 so all the stuff from m1 i dumped in my main folder and all the stuff from bridge m1 i dumped in my main folder so i don't need to launch m1 because it's a command line tool i want this front end tool the bridge m1 so after i've put everything in here i launch this and we'll give it a second here there here it is and we've got bridge M1 going, and I just want to click this load. And what it'll do is it'll load the XML file of all the ROMs that it understands based on the ROM folder I have. And I can rescan these and audit them just like I did uh, my regular MAME uh, uh, main ROMs for the actual MAME. Uh, but these are just for playing the, the, the sound effects and stuff in there. So if I wanted to play, uh, let's say, let's go for my favorite, Galaga. I'll say okay to Galaga, and here's all the things. So here's a... All right, so I can play those files. It's just like a little player here. Now, if I want to record these and rip these to WAV files that I can use in a, uh, uh, in a sampler or in my DAW, I just toggle this WAV recording, and anything that I um, play... All right, now I just played that and stopped it. So now in my um, in my main folder, pretty much uh, there's a folder called Waves. And you can see I've done this lots of times. There will be under, it'll actually be listed as Galaga. Oops, where it is it? So here it is, Galaga 007. That's the actual one, 007, captive shot. I'll play that. So you can see I just basically took that sound from that ROM and exported it as a WAV file. So this is pretty powerful. You can, there's a lot of stuff um, in here. And 
I do have some advice about this, and this is why my music is in the licensing format it is in. This is copyrighted material. Um, so you need to be, you can't just use something, some music straight from here and call it your own. You need to be transformative, meaning you need to take these samples and transform them into something else like music that it wasn't intended to be in the first place. And then also th think about, um, other things that keep that in the fair use space, like keeping it free, like what I do. Um, so. Uh, that's my that's my advice to you if you're think about using these samples in in your productions so um but have fun with it uh this is a lot of fun if hey if you just want to listen to some cool music from an old video game you, you liked this is a great way to do it too just think of it as like a little player you don't even have to actually save the waves out of this too so well i hope this uh helps you guys get some cool samples to do some neat stuff and you know make some sort of nostalgia bomb <laughs> All right, guys, love you to bits. See you later.